Happy Friday! Happy Friday! How are you? I'm here. I'm dressed. And I'm going to do it this morning. I'm running late. I didn't get up till like 6.15. And um, I want to do my pin up in front of you all. A lot of girls ask me how I do it. What I stuff my hair with. I don't stuff it. Um, actually, yesterday when I did my Get Ready With Me video, you really can't see how long my hair is because I don't blow it out. And I used to and get doobies and all that, but it damaged my hair, that blowout, that Dominican blowout. So I don't blow my hair. I don't use any heat. So my hair stays, even though it's relaxed, it stays in a shrunken state a lot because I wet it. It's wet down. So if I blew it out, it's probably right above my bra strap right now. If not to my bra strap, because this is my shrunken state, okay? And down in my roots, it's impacted with like, two inches of new growth. It's just impacted. It's like, it's, it just springs back. Okay. So you really can't see exactly the length of my hair and that's okay. That's not a problem, you know? Um, but I want to get on here <clears throat> right quick and show everyone how I I can barely get the comb through this. That's what I was telling you. I don't never comb it all the way through when it's in this state. Now, when I do my relaxer, which should be this weekend, it's sort of like a text lax because I don't use, I don't leave the relaxer in long, okay, um, at all, uh, because I don't want to damage my hair. So that's one reason I wear it up all the time too. But we made it through another week. So let old acquaintance be forgot. And never come to mind. You know that song they used to sing back in the day? Let old acquaintance be forgot. And never come to mind. Let your old acquaintance this week never come to mind. Anymore. Okay? Good morning, Stay Stay. So, I'm going to pin the back up. Hopefully I can do it. This arm. Good God Almighty. So, this is how I do it. I don't know if I'm even. This arm of mine, I have a torn ligament in this arm. And I went to the doctor. They said it wasn't a, uh, it wasn't my rotator cup or anything. But it won't let me lift all the way. So, I have a hard time twisting it so what are you all doing this weekend with all your long two days off i know what i'm doing <laughs> i'll be working again but it's okay you have to do what you have to do to get what you need um you all know i was talking to you all about those of you that have that have been watching me I've been talking to you all about, I think I made two videos for you all about my situation at McDonald's with the guy, you know, who I thought hit me. I don't know if you all can see it, but I sort of did a little, I don't know if you all can see it, a little pin up there. I just twisted it and it's springy back. It's just so impacted. Um, it looks like I'm almost natural. That's how long I go without getting the relaxer. Well, anyway, you know, I reported him. And the next day I went back, the next time I went back, he wasn't there. He wasn't there. So, I don't know, you know, if anything happened. I didn't pay no attention. That was on Friday when it happened. Monday, when I went back. Okay? Monday when I went back. How about... I go back yesterday, and he still he wasn't there. This post again, so I'm not saying I hope I didn't get him fired. That was not my intention, but I know he normally works every day at that position. You know that that window, and um he wasn't there, but that goes with me saying effects and consequences of anything that you do. 
you have an effect of what you do, your behavior. You know, people are only going to take but so much. And then after they take but so much, I wet my brush too. Because like I said, it's almost like I'm in my natural state. And my hair is wet and it's, shrink it's, it's shrinking. So I wet it. Let me take off my glasses. Those are Dollar Tree glasses, you all. Um, Just wet it. And brush it. And, um, you know, so he's not there. So I'm encouraging you all today to watch how you treat people. You know what I'm saying? Be careful. And then if he did get fired, how about he probably blaming me? You know? He probably lying, saying that this black girl came through the window and got him fired. You know, because people don't want to take responsibility for their action. I put a pin, a bobby pin on the side. And a two, a bobby pin or two to kind of hold it. Okay. And I don't have that in there real good because it's slipping out. And I made sure not to put no oil in my hair this morning. I did it last night. And... My hair is real fine, y'all. It's very fine. And I don't even have to do a relaxer, but I'm telling you, if I let this stuff shrink all the way down, I won't be able to get this comb through my head. I'll be walking around here looking like, whew, Jesus. Um, so, you know, be careful on how you treat people. Because when they come back, then you don't want to take responsibility. That's the thing that gets me. You want to bully people, mistreat people, you know, and then you don't want to take responsibility. If you want to be a grown person, you want to be a badass, take the responsibility. You know, yeah, I did it. You know, be a bad criminal, as Michael Jackson said. But then you get the ones who want to blame everybody. I'm sure, I'm sure that sucker lied and said that he didn't do anything. I'm sure he blamed me. Because that's what people do. Oh. That's what they do. I'm going to have to put three on this side. Because it's thick. Um, That's what they do. They blame you. And. You know. Be bad. Be bold. You know. Tell the truth. Yeah I did it. Take your consequence. Sometimes if you tell the truth. Things don't happen. But again. Again. Having a hot flash. Ain't no telling how many people these pins are sliding out my hair. I hope I don't run out of storage space on this darn camera. Ain't no telling how many people this boy done been. Well, this man has been bothering coming through. The drive through at McDonald's, you know, and it's kind of, if you're a, a scary person like I used to be, it would intimidate you. It would intimidate you so bad. You know, somebody doing that to you, it would intimidate you. That's how they bully you, you know, and suppose I hadn't said anything and I just would have let it go. He could have took my little money out my account and bullied me up and spit in my food and Ain't no telling what homeboy could have did to me. You know, because if you don't say nothing, it only gets worse. You know, people don't speak out. You know, and that's a form of bullying. No matter what his, no matter what his, um, whether he knew me or didn't know me. And then I just tuck it back. Excuse me, the phone was ringing. Then I just tuck it back, so I probably paused some. Um, then I just tuck it and try to get it, you know, the way you want to get it. It's wet. Gosh, it's wet. It's mushy. Um, but yeah, you know, um. I don't know, but I'm just encouraging you all to treat people the way you want to be treated. 
you know, be that. Let this be a friendly Friday. I'm trying to come up with all these cute names. Let this be a friendly Friday. You know, stop bullying people. Because I know some of you all that's on my camera have done it. And you're probably still doing it. You know, you're probably still doing it. And you're grown. Most of you watching my channel probably grown. People with almost got grandkids, children in college. Stop bullying people. First of all, somebody going to knock your eyeballs out. And then I had this man to come on my YouTube channel. He, he texted me on my YouTube channel and told me that he wanted me to let him be my personal journal. He wants me to pee on him. Stop coming on my page acting like a fool. And stop stalking me, stupid people. Because if you run up on me in the street somewhere, it's gonna be on and popping. Okay, stop. I don't want you to. I don't want to um, pee on you, and just leave me alone, you freak. You know what I'm saying? Don't come on my page with no bull crap. You know I'm on here just enjoying myself. If you like my channel, you like it. Thank God I'm happy. But don't come on there with no mess. With some stupidity. You know what I'm saying? Just stupid. You know? So I, I had to throw that in there. I forgot. It happened the other day. But here it is, guys. Here it is. Put on your little lips. Now, the older I let my hair get, if I don't relax it, this would be bigger. Um, when I was natural, I could really get it big because I didn't have no straighten in my hair, but my ends are straight. So, but here it is. There it go. My beauty bag. Anyway, y'all have a nice Friday. Have a wonderful Friday. Treat people kind. I'm not, I don't start trouble. I never have. I'm not, I'm serious. I've never had. First of all, I was a punk when I was coming up. I grew up in Brooklyn. Those kids were gangsters in the second grade, and I was scared. I was the only child. My cousins and stuff were all younger than me, and they all lived down south. So, and all my friends had more siblings than I did, and I had friends that would help me, and I'd be running. We used to run home. Now, you get these. Ha! You would get them without hesitation, you know, but you have to grow and, and mature, and I did, but I never have started trouble, and I don't start trouble now. So, you know, but um, don't start none with me, and it won't be nothing. You know, I try to. I'm a lover, not a fighter. You know, I'm, I am i don't do all that. I don't want my face scratched up, my hair pulled out. That's just stupid. I mean, defend yourself, but don't go around just starting bull crap, you know? It's just stupid. Like I said, if you're just going around starting mess, you got a problem, you know? And I hope that I did not get him fired. That was not my intention at all, you know? So if he did, he did to himself. I'm not going through there this morning, so I won't know until next week because I will not be back in that part of North Carolina, Lexington, until Monday. After today. I'm going today, but I won't go to McDonald's today. I don't go every day. So, um, you know. Anywho, you all have a fabulous, friendly Friday. And for those of you all who are a little bit on the wild side, have a freaky Friday. Hey, do what you want to do, especially if you're above age. Now, if you are younger watching my channel, don't go tell your mama I said, uh, Brooklyn said be freaky, because Brooklyn didn't say that. Only if you're above age and it's legal, okay, then you have a freaky Friday. But other than that, y'all have y'all be blessed. Stay sweet. I'm enjoying being with you all in the mornings, and I'm going to come back to you all this weekend with a haul 
or show you a room, or I may do something different. I may do something different. I don't know. But I hope you all are enjoying me. I'm enjoying you all. Y'all have a nice day. God bless you. I love you all. Hey, boo, 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 boo.